for some sensory fibers coming from the external ear right now so from here the taste fibers they are going along with the facial nerve proper and parasympathetic fibers but when parasympathetic fiber decide to jump out of facial canal taste fiber also jump out of the facial canal so parasympathetic and taste fiber both jump through what tympanic cavity right and they exit in front of the tympanic cavity and then they become part of which nerve lingual nerve but parasympathetic fiber on the way leave to the submandibular ganglion but taste fiber continue with the lingual nerve until the they are able to innervate and tear two third of the tongue for the fungi form papillae or taste you can say taste sensation system clear now thank god most of the things are done we are left with one fiber what are these touch point temperature from the external ear is that right these fibers also have their cell bodies in where geniculate ganglion these their central processes go in the center and get connected with what is this spinal nucleus or trigeminal system and the peripheral process move with what facial nerve proper into facial canal backward and then facial canal downward but these touch pain temperature fiber keep on going down touch pain and temperature fibers keep on going down 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 and they come out of what is this funny thing stylomastoid foramen and they go into posterior auricular branch and posterior auricular branch gives sensation touch pain and temperature or somatic general somatic sensation to the posterior part of external ear right and thank god that's complete the basic orientation or clear orientation or core concept related with the facial nerve i have not talked about the clinical points that will discuss into next lecture right but before really i close i will test you right now you, you will tell me what what is there right say it loudly first of all we are going to start the fiber from here and connect to the periphery what are these fiber in facial nerve bring your motor right seventh nerve facial nerve proper then they move forward they are moving through what this part moving through facial nerve proper through internal auditory meatus and then through the geniculate ganglion they move backward into what facial canal in the medial wall then they move downward in facial canal in posterior wall then first branch is given by what is this this brachiomotor fiber to which muscle stapedius and then these fiber come out at stylomastoid foramen and they give posterior branches posterior auricular branch goes to muscle with it some sensory fiber also supply the what is this external ear external ear sensation touch pain and temperature then these fibers give a little branches to the posterior belly of digastric and stylohyoid and then main facial nerve proper enter into which gland parotid gland and from the parotid gland they, they divide into which branches temporal, temporal then zygomatic buccal then marginal mandibular and cervical for muscle the facial expression and platysma claro clear now after this we come to the parasympathetic fibers parasympathetic fiber are two types of fiber mainly lacrimatory and salivatory they start from which nucleus say it loudly which nucleus superior salivatory nucleus they move as a part of which nerve facial nerve proper or nervous intermedius nervous intermedius up to the geniculate ganglion their lacrimatory pathway and salivatory pathway separate lacrimatory pathway goes through a nerve which is called greater petrosal nerve which meet into foramen lacerum with deep petrosal nerve together these fibers go as nerve to pterygoid canal to which ganglion pterygo palatine ganglion they are preganglionic which fiber end preganglionic lacrimatory fiber end or parasympathetic fiber end then from here lacrimatory fiber jump to maxillary zygomatic branch of maxillary and from there they jump to the lacrimal branch of ophthalmic and reach to lacrimal gland and some other branches go to nasal gland and paranasal gland and palatine glands done then salivatory fibers salivatory fibers separated from lacrimatory pathway at geniculate ganglion they moved with the facial nerve proper into facial canal they are moving backward then downward but 
from there through posterior canaliculus they jump into middle ear and they are having which other fiber with them taste fiber now this nerve the jumping nerve from this posterior part of facial canal this jumping nerve is passing through the tympanic cavity when you throw light in the on the tympanic membrane when you throw a strong light on tympanic membrane you will look at the shade of this nerve jumping across the cavity you know what is the name of this nerve this part corda tympani have you heard of corda tympani have you heard of corda tympani in past this is corda tympani what is corda tympani this is a cord in the tympanic membrane tympanic cavity what is this cord it's a neurons a nerve is jumping across the tympanic cavity this nerve has which fibers it has parasympathetic preganglionic fibers and also the taste fiber from anterior to third of the tongue and parasympathetic fiber going to the submandibular ganglion right so what is this nerve yes corda tympani so we can say basically corda tympani fuse with the lingual nerve right so what i was saying that sub uh, parasympathetic fibers from here they jump as corda tympani along with the taste fibers and they exit at dirigo tympanic fissure and they in the infratemporal fossa they meet with lingual nerve as a part of lingual lingual nerve they move a little and eventually depart and preganglionic fibers end into which ganglion submandibular ganglion and from the submandibular ganglion uh, post ganglionic fibers go to uh, submandibular gland and sublingual gland done third taste fiber taste fiber truly they, we should explain them from the periphery the taste fiber from anterior two third of the tongue they move centrally yes as a part of lingual nerve but from the lingual nerve so met touch pain and temperature fiber go to the mandibular division and taste fiber become part of corda tympani and through the corda tympani they jump through the middle ear cavity and they reach to the facial nerve in the facial canal here the taste fibers move upward right then they move forward into facial what is this canal and at geniculate ganglion they have their cell body from this cell body the central processes move with nervous intermediates through the internal acoustic meatus and eventually go to the brain stem and get connected to nucleus of tractus solitarius done then touch pain and temperature somatic afferent from ear they start from the ear they enter into posterior auricular branch of facial nerve and from there they enter into facial canal they move upward right and then they move forward through facial canal into middle ear, middle ear medial wall they reach to geniculate ganglia these fibers also have the cell body here and the central processes move as a part of which which nerve nervous intermediate part of facial nerve and eventually they enter into pontocerebral junction right they enter into brain stem and they get connected inside the brain stem with the spinal part of trigeminal nuclei any question up to this so this completes our core concept basic concept about the facial nerve in the next lecture we'll talk about bell's palsy and other facial nerve lesions class dismissed